Hello, my name is Henriette and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'd love to have you here. As you can see, it's been raining non-stop in London. So I'm going to work on my living room today and see if we can make it go from dark to light. I bought some fabric so that I can reuse the cushions we've already got. This video is all about styling for spring. Such a lovely time of year. None of the brands in this video are sponsored. Rupert wouldn't let me get on until he'd had his kisses. I've been sewing since I was a little girl. The winters in Denmark are very long and we often used to sit and do handicrafts of an evening. I find it's much cheaper when you make your own covers. You also have far more choice with regards to fabrics. This is our living room before I start, dressed with all dark accessories. I wanted to show you just how a few accessory changes can make a whole room look completely different. Let's start with the sofas. The blanket is from the John Lewis Everyday range and was really affordable. This basket tray is from The White Company. I'll drop the link in the comment box below. Now I really associate whites and wicker with spring. The greenery is faux ground elder. I've decided to change the lampshades from black to lighter ones. This works really well because the base is actually like a dark brown. When I decorate a fireplace, I tend to put high items on either side to balance it out. The succulent plant is real and the planter came from the charity shop. I'm going to use this basket to hide the remote controls. The flowers are faux hellebores. These books belong to my husband's grandfather. And I think it's really important that you include something you love when you do your interior design. Isn't it amazing how much a room can change just by swapping over some accessories? I also wanted to show you how to do a really easy table setting for spring using things that you probably already got. Like these wicker table mats, white plates and stainless steel cutlery. I firmly believe you don't have to spend a fortune to make things look nice. adding simple white napkins that I'm just going to tie in a knot. Now I'm going to add a simple wine glass and a water glass. To elevate the table setting I'm going to add some white roses. Lastly I'm going to add some tea lights in glass containers. We have a visitor's book in our house. I wonder how many of you have got one of those. Is it still a thing or has that been left in the past? Now I ask our visitors to do whatever they fancy in our book. Do a drawing, write a poem or whatever takes their fancy. 
it turns out that they're all quite talented. Leaves turn and fall as the year grows late and hedgehogs feed up ready to hibernate. Here's one making fun out of my husband. Roses are red, daisies are white, Mike did the cooking, oh what a fright. Alternatively, and it was alright. <laughs> I want to make a new reef for our front door, but I don't want to spend any money on it. So I've hunted around the house and found these faux stems. They are too long, so I'm going to cut them to size using snippers. I don't want to waste anything, so I'm going to use the leaves as well. They look a bit like grass. I quite like that for spring. Let's start assembling the reef and see how it goes. I decided to add some Spanish moss just to give it a bit more texture. These white porcelain hearts came from the white company many years ago. Our reef wasn't quite there yet, so I decided to cut out some white butterflies. I'm going to fold the wings in on either side of the body to make it look more 3D, giving them some movement. I'm wrapping some twine all the way around the reef to hold everything in place. I'm going to attach the butterflies using a bit of hot glue. I think every season has something unique going for it. However, spring has got to be my favorite. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. It would mean the absolute world to me. I hope you have a great week. Thanks for watching.